In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, uh, the first circle comes. Uh, you can put the headline here and then you can see some shadow effect I have added here. When I click, it will show me with uh, some gradient fill the option one where you can put the title and the detailed text with some different color. I have put the second option, the third option. When I click, the right information comes with a different gradient fill, something like this. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light gray color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the circle hollow, draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key, maybe this much size. And you can see this small orange circle, just drag this outside and depending on your requirement, you can keep the width. Okay and then i'm going to align center align middle again if you like to increase the size you can hold the control shift key together and can increase the size all right and shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to cut this into two parts for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see something like this again align center align middle okay and make sure this also align center and align middle okay now i'm going to select this uh, oval shape hold the shift key select the rectangle then go to merge shape and select fragment all right then unwanted objects i'm just going to select and delete you can see here i can delete this also and here also i can delete now I end up getting a shape something like this. Now for this, I'm going to fill this with gradient color. Okay, so select this one, right mouse click, go to format shape and select the gradient fill. Here I have used three stops. Okay, so depending on your requirement, if you want, you can keep it two, three or four. So now let me just select the stop one, go to more colors and I can just choose any color of my choice. Maybe I'm going to go with uh, say a pink okay light pink then i'm going to go with some different color combination okay maybe a kind of a dark red and here i can just go and make it a kind of a blue so it looks something like this all right so here if you want you can keep it the same or you can change it if you want to keep the same you can just simply select this one go to home format painter and click it here okay and if you want to change the direction you can simply change the direction something like this all right now i'm going to select both these shapes or only one shape and i'm going to the effects go to the shadow and select the presets scroll down and you can just choose this one here and here i'm going to select again shadows and I can choose this one which is inside right. So it looks something like this. So once this is done, I'm going to add some oval shapes here. Go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, select the oval shape. Draw the oval shape by holding the shift key. Okay, maybe this much size. And shape outline, make it no outline. Shape fill, make it white. So it looks something like this. Now I'm going to give some a uh, gradient fill here also. For that, press Ctrl D to duplicate. Keep it aside and select the gradient fill. Here I don't need this gradient fill. I want only two stops. So one stop I'm deleting. Again, the first stop I'm going to choose. Make it a white color. And the second stop I'm going to choose some gray color here. All right. And this white make it fully transparent and this gray you can just change the direction you can see here like this and move this one the gradient stop and put it exactly on top of this one okay and if you are not sure select both this shape format align center align middle so we end up getting a shape like this all right again if you want you can make it more white also by dragging this here 
okay now i'm going to select this again press ctrl d this one i'm going to select the solid fill and i'm going to choose a black color this is to give the shadow effect increase the transparency go to the effects under soft edges increase the size you can see here like this and put it here and send this to back all right if you want you can increase the size by holding the control shift key okay a little bit or you can just move a little here and once this is done i'm going to select both these three press ctrl g to group it press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to put one here then i'm going to select this one i'm going to put it here one make sure it is properly aligned and hold the control shift key add it to the right then again press ctrl d put one here and again hold the control shift key and put it here one more okay and in the center i'm going to make it one big one select this one press ctrl d to group it and i can hold the ctrl shift key and increase the size you can see here and this one shadow i can move it somewhat inside okay again if you want you can just increase the size and a little bit or you can increase the transparency here okay so we end up getting a shape something like this you can see here all right so once this is done you can now add some icons go to insert click on icons and choose any icon of your choice i'm going to randomly select six different icons you can see here this is four maybe this is five and six click insert move this here and make the height and width as 0.5 only and then start putting one by one on top of each option here each oval shape and make sure that this is properly aligned all right i'm just going to put it here here and here and again if you want to give some different color according to the color of this you can choose that also so once this is done let me just group this again press ctrl g to group it i'm just selecting with the help of a mouse and ctrl g i'm pressing to group it you can see here or you can select like this and select this one ctrl g whichever way you feel easy you can just do that part and this also and here also so once this is done go to insert text box add the title here and make it this as a somewhat bold right aligned and then go to insert text box equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket one and unwanted text i'm going to delete it again this also right aligned give some light gray color reduce the font size and put it here all right so both of this one move this closer press ctrl d to duplicate for the second one ctrl d again press ctrl d now this time i'm going to align left and then go to the shape format align make it left and then i'm going to put it here press ctrl d to duplicate this will come here and then this will come here you make sure to align this one with this okay so once all these things over i'm just going to select this again and i'm going to add the main title make it a center align and i'm going to say title or headline here and put it exactly in the center and if you want you can increase the size as well okay so you can see here we have completed the design now it's time to do some basic animation to it so close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane the first thing i'm just going to group this one all right now this animation go to add animation more entrance effects and select basic zoom and click ok then i'm going to select this particular shape again i'm going to select a wipe 
wipe instead of bottom it should come from top all right and this should happen on click or you can make it after previous also then the first option this option again i'm going to make it basic zoom click ok and make this one after previous and this one and this also i'm going to group it so let me just group it that will help me to make the animations more faster all right now i'm going to select this one add animation more entrance effects select the stretch click ok and make it from right and this also make it after previous so select the second one with the help of animation painter click on this one then i'm just going to select this click on animation painter and apply it here so this one will come for the third again do the same repetition for here i'm going to select this one and click on this all right and then you can just simply do the same part here all right and this one instead of coming from the right make it from the left so simply select this one click on animation painter again select this this and select this one and this one and this so let's see how it looks when i click it will show you the headline then the option one two three then option four five and six so this way you can simply create this slide 